Hello, this is Steven again, and as you all know, this is also Bruno Empire. Okay, today's tutorial is about a speaking file. How to make a file that will make everything you are doing speak, or that will speak for you. When you make the file and you type anything in it, it will speak. Let's see how we can make this with a notepad. As I said in my first tutorial, Notepad can do amazing things that you, you that is watching this video, can't even imagine. So let's see the amazing things, one of the amazing things uh, uh, Notepad can do. Let's see how to go about it. Okay. Thank you. So let's see how to make a speaking file. How to make a file that can speak for us. Type something in it it will speak and we are going to make it with a notepad so what we need to do is to get to our notepad so what we need to do is to go to our start menu or no let's press our windows key plus r and type in notepad then press enter our notepad will open for us okay now the next thing to do is to type in the codes. So which codes are we going to type? Let's type something. Okay, I'll type DIM space message. Then the comma sign space SAAP. We call it SAP. So we will press our enter and go to the second line. Okay, the second line we will type in message equal to um equal to input box input box input box then you bring your bracket open then you type your exclamation mark okay so let's type it fast so we do enter enter your test for conversion enter your test for conversion okay then we will type https https then we will bring our column then two forward slash sign then we will type let's say we are typing our, our website so we will empower website as a we know empower dot website am i right okay so we will bring our exclamation mark here and we type in our comma then we bring our exclamation mark again then we type do not empire do not empire am i right with the empire test audio audio converter converter yeah we we will type uh the exclamation mark again then we will bring our bracket closed we are done with the second line Okay, let's go to the third line. So we type in set sapi equal to then we bring ah uh, okay so we type in create object we must be very careful with the um, the because it's, it's very case sensitive so we must be very careful with the words okay so object object then we bring our bracket open then we bring our exclamation mark then we type sapi dot sp voice then we bring our exclamation mark again then we close the bracket 
I think we are done with this third, the third, um, the third line. So let's go to the fourth line. Okay. So I'll come here and type um, um, sappy, sappy, and uh, dot, sappy dot, stick. message I think we are done oh yeah let's see okay, let's see whether our file can be created so let's see whether we've not made a mistake so you come to file then you go to save us then you type me any name you can give it any name so I'm coming to name it uh, speak then you name it as VBS, VBS file. So any name dot VBS. Then you save it on desktop. So I'll save it on my desktop. Let me save it. So it will come like this. So come and open it. You see that it has opened for us. So let's see whether it can speak for us. Let's see whether you can speak for us. Okay, so I'll type um, Bruno Empire and press OK. You see, it spoke. It spoke for us. Let's open it again and type something. Now, let me bring this sign here. I hope you heard it. Isn't it amazing? It's so amazing. So, if you liked this video, please subscribe, share, contact us if you didn't understand anything. If you want to know how to do all these codes, if you want to know how to write all these codes yourself, come and we will teach you to understand it. And you will be able to write your own codes without us but this one you can find the codes at the description part you can copy it and paste it in your um, notepad so that you can make the file but please make sure you you name the file as vbs file dot vbs any name you will give it name it dot vbs thank you and may the good lord be with us all.